And good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, the 4th of March, 2024. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're in March already. And as you can see from the screen in front of you, today we are talking about World Book Day. World Book Day isn't today, but it is this coming week on Thursday. So let's find out a little bit more about World Book Day. Good question. What is World Book Day? World Book Day is celebrated all around the country and in fact all around the world. And here are some fun facts. The first World Book Day took place a very long time ago. In fact, can you tell me how long ago? It was in 1997. How many years ago was that? I wonder if anyone in your class has got that right. Over two million of the one pound books are printed to give out to you. And this year, there are 15 books to choose from. World Book Day, the reason we have it, is to help children find books they really want to read in their free time. I've got a little pile of books here, <clears throat> some of which I really love. Some are quite new books. This one's called Shine. In fact, I might read that to you at the end of this session. This is another lovely book called The Hair Shaped Hole. Might read that one to you on another occasion. Then I've got two others. This one, I know Mrs. Folks Jones really likes this book, and you may have seen it on the television. The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse. A beautiful book that's got many different pictures in it as well as writing. That book really makes me think. And then I went to my bookshelf and I found a book that's actually not mine. It was my dad's and now lives in my house. And you can tell it's old. It's an old book called Nonsense Songs. And it's got lots of silly poems in it. Lots that I used to get my dad to read me when I was younger. Because before I went to bed, I'd have to read to my parents. And sometimes my parents would read to me. And this book is one that's got lots of nice memories for my childhood. Here are the pictures of the books that you are able to buy with your one pound token. So on Thursday, when you come to school, either in your pajamas or in a costume that you've already got at home, we don't want anybody buying any new outfits. We just want you to use what you've got. So you can come dressed up as your favourite character from a book or you can come in your pyjamas, but you must bring with you a favourite book. When you go home that day, we'll be giving you your one pound voucher. We'll talk a little bit more about where you can buy your books. Just here, there you go. You'll get your um, one pound voucher and the shops that are near us that you can buy your books in are the big Tesco's, in WH Smith's, and also in Sainsbury's. I'm not sure if there'll be any in the little Sainsbury's, but if you were to go to one of the bigger Sainsbury's, they've definitely got books where you would be able to go choose a book and give them your one pound um, voucher and take it home with you. Or if you've got another book that you'd like to buy, you can use your one pound voucher for a discount. So let's say the book was five pounds, you could use your one pound voucher and the book would just be four pounds instead. So be sure to take your voucher home with you on Thursday. The idea of World Book Day this year is for you to find your reading superpower this World Book Day. We want you to choose the books you really want to read. Listen to books being read out loud or listen to audio books. Make some extra time to read. That picture there says that perhaps someone's reading at bedtime or even after bedtime with a torch under the covers. Make sure you're taking books home from school to read. And have a chat with your friends. Did you like that book? Was that book really good? Is there somewhere in your classroom that you can share ideas about books that you think you'd really like to recommend? I think I've already told you that I definitely recommend this book. So perhaps I'll bring this in and I can read some of it to you this coming week. 
the theme this year is also read your way. Thinking about where is it okay to do reading? You can pause this video and have a little chat in your class. Where are some great places to read? I hope you came up with a few good ideas. And I wonder if maybe this week we can get some photos of children reading all across our school. Wouldn't that be nice to put around to show everyone how important reading is to everyone at Summersford? Here are some excuses that we may make for not reading. I'm too tired to read. I've got too much homework to do. I just don't like to sit still on my own. I get distracted by other things such as games and screens. Found anything I really like. Do you think you could say to somebody who was saying those things? I don't have enough time. What would you say to them? What suggestion would you have? You can pause the screen again here and have a chat with your class about your responses to each of these people's conversations. I bet you've had some great ideas. Reading is so important, not just now in primary school, but all the way through your life. Some of you will say, oh, but I want to be a footballer. I want to be a doctor. I don't have to do reading. Reading is such a key part of everything that we do. Oh, here's some suggestions. I don't have enough time to read. Here's a suggestion. Read while you're on the go. Maybe listen to an audio book. Find quick and easy reads like comics, poems or blogs. Sneaky reading. Carry something you enjoy reading around with you see when you can sneak it in at the bus stop, waiting to be picked up in bed. Good ideas. I'm going to be sending your teachers a link for some different authors telling you why it's really important to read. So stop here and have a little look at some of them. Good question. Where is your favourite place to read. Hmm. In the park? In the bar? Whilst out walking the dog? Whilst doing exercise? On the toilet? The most important thing that we're doing is sharing our recommendations. Think about a book that you've read recently and think about something that was important about it. Did you enjoy the descriptions, the language that was in it? Was there something interesting? Maybe it was the first book in a series and now you're addicted and want to read every single book. Take some time on Thursday or even this week to make sure you're sharing which books you would recommend to your friends. Let's make sure everybody picks up a new book this week. We'd also like to do a little bit of a, a monitor to see what sort of books would you like to read more of this year? So there are a, a variety of different books here, picture books, adventure books, poetry books, audio books, comic books, joke books, all of those, sorry, went a bit too far, all of those, I'd like you as a class to tell me which of those books you'd like to have more of. We'll then be able to have a look and see how many of those books we've got in our library and see if we can get any new books to join. So pause here and you can count up how many of you would like to have more of each of these types of books. Or if there's anything different you'd like us to add to our library, now's a perfect time to tell us. These are all of this year's one pound books. Have a good look and see if any of those look exciting for you. The good thing about these books are there's books for every different age group. So when you go out to the shops, you'll be able to have a look through and see which one really excites you. And you can't wait to read it. I can't wait to see all the brand new books that you're able to buy with your one pound vouchers. This, the theme this year is absolutely to read your way. 
So I'd like to see photographs of you reading around our school. But actually, once I've put some of those pictures up, it would be really nice for your parents to share some photos of you reading your way at home. I wonder where your favourite place to read is. Before we finish, I'd just like you to take a moment to think about why it's so important for us all to be excellent readers. Just take a moment to think before we finish our assembly for today. I hope you've got lots of ideas and I hope that this week is a great week and that this week we show the world why we are such excellent learners at Summerswood. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great week and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.